Hey, Digital Fam. My name is John D. Saunders, and in today's Digital Block, we talk the power of leveraging social media and digital with internet entrepreneur and owner of MPH Club, Liram Sustil. First and foremost, these guys are powerhouse marketers. I've known them for several years, worked closely with them together on developing marketing strategies that convert. Lee, who's here with me now, and Stas, the co-founders, saw how underdeserved exotic car rental industry was online. Using their experience, we developed detailed plans for social media, SEO, and online branding. Fast forward a few years, and the fleet has expanded tenfold. They built a stellar team and continue to kill the game with an additional boutique-style marketing agency, MCO Network. Lee was cool enough to take some time out of his day to talk to us. Lee, how you doing, man? I'm great, man. Thanks for having me. Awesome, awesome. So tell me about your past and how MPH Club came about. We didn't really have the guts to just walk up to a dealership, buy an exotic vehicle, and walk away and lose 30% of the car, which yeah. normally everybody does. I looked deeper into it and see there's a, a big demand out there for exotic car rental needs. A lot of production companies need these vehicles. A lot of people want to just have fun on their birthday weekend. We built MPH Club years ago, and it was just a directory online just to generate the leads. The website started dragging a lot of traffic, a lot of demand, and uh, we actually got the courage. We went to go buy our first car. A couple years ago, it was a 2012 brand new Lamborghini Gallardo Spider. That was our first car that we bought, and uh, we put it into the system. It started going out every weekend, and eventually started going out more than just every weekend, and eventually a client took it for a whole month. Wow. And because of that reason, we're like, yo, we need to buy another car because we have the demand, clients are calling, and we just don't have the inventory for it. So next thing you know, we buy another car. We bought a Ferrari California at the time. Mm -hmm. We bought another Lamborghini. Next thing you know, three years later, we're 35 cars deep and growing, wow. multiple locations across South Florida, and the company turned into be a full-time business. Yeah. Uh, we still operate in, and manage uh, MCO Network, which is our marketing company responsible for dozens of companies here in South Florida. Uh, we're doing very well with it as well. And it's just been a fun uh, ride yeah. for the past couple of years that we've been oh, doing this. Awesome. Another thing is MPH Club is highly engaged with social media, online content, engagement, SEO. How do you guys find the time to create such high engaging content? I mean, you have 217,000 followers on Instagram, all organic. How do you guys do it? Oh, that's, that's the fun part. Uh, all, all of our social media, we have, a, we have a team. I can't even take all the credit for it. We have, we have a, a photography department, we have a videography department, and we just we do this for fun. Yeah. Go take the cars, take some cool pictures, get creative with them. When it comes to the holidays, we implement that into the, the actual videography. We release it out through social media, so we, have, we realize that we have such a high followers because of the cool content that we release. All the pictures and the videos that we put out there, people always, we always in front of their face, always constantly uh, to remind them, hey, we have, uh, we have a special this week or the happy holidays coming around the corner or your birthday's coming around the corner. So make sure you call us yeah, when, you, you, when you recall rental needs. Absolutely. Lee talked a lot about the team and the environment of having a team network of people that are all have uh, specific jobs. How do you find the best talent and how do you keep them? Educating. We have staff meetings all the time. I'm always hands on with the business. I like to be involved with, with every employee. If you're a blogger, I like to sit down and blog with you. If you're a web developer, I like to be involved with you. Um, any, anything in between. If you're doing sales with clients, I like to help you in, interact with them. I have a lot of experience in all the departments, so I like to pass that knowledge on to my staff so they know how to treat the client right. A lot of times the bosses are kind of just away. They don't really know what's going on. Lee really enforces that, hey, I want to be a part of all the processes that go on in the business just to make sure that you know what's going on moving forward, right? Definitely, yeah. Communicate awesome. with, the, with the employees is the, the biggest thing. Yeah. Uh, always communication. Sometimes I over-communicate. I, I repeat myself, but <laughs> hey, uh, it got to get done, you know? got to get the point across, right? Exactly. Oh, what are the most important pieces to your online marketing strategy? Brand awareness is a key. That's number one. If a client goes to our website, you know, we track their, their cookies. Once they actually visit our site, they bounce to Facebook, for example, and they snoop around Facebook for a little bit. They see our ad that comes up. Yeah. Uh, they go back to our website. They go, you know, keep on looking at some more options, more cars. And the next day, they go on Amazon. They buy uh, some pair of shoes or something. Our ad comes up on Amazon as well. Um, then you go back to the website and actually uh, that converts to a client. Uh, it always helps out, um, you know, bearing awareness. And then they realize they end up bringing a car and, hey, I've been following MPH Hope on Instagram for years now. And now yeah. I know what it's all yeah. about. I just follow this cool account because they have some cool pictures of cars. What do you think the most important things are for an online marketing strategy? We approach the weekend, for example, and we get a lot of our exotic cars rented out. Maybe there's one or two left and we want to push them. So we pick, for example, the car that's available and we put a, a nice high definition image of it 
and we put out there available for this weekend. And because it's such a high volume that we have uh, followers, they convert. We get a phone call like, hey, I just saw you guys post a picture of the BMW i8, for example. Yeah. Uh, is it available this weekend? It's the last car. We did it for a reason because that car is available. Got you, got you. And then the time, it makes them think, oh, just for the weekend, let me go ahead and buy it. So it gives them like a strong call to action to, yeah. to execute. I'm a visual type of guy. I like to see what I like to, what I buy. Yeah. You know, so if I see the car and I know it's available, I'll go ahead and execute. Awesome. So let me ask another question. What's the best way to brainstorm new ideas? Oh, we use this conference table right here, man. We sit down, we put hours in this thing right here. All the employees, they come sit down and throw ideas out there. Uh, I like to use that famous line that if you throw so many things against the wall, something will end up sticking. Sure. You know, we throw a lot of ideas out there. Some of them are whack, some of them are weird, <laughs> but hey, believe it or not, some of them do convert and they Absolutely. actually, they work. Absolutely. All right, so as you guys can see, you know, Lee's a young guy. Um, there's a lot of entrepreneurs or business owners or guys that just want to start out and do their own thing. What would be your biggest piece of advice for you know, an entrepreneur starting out? Be very calculated. You know, when I first started the business, I didn't go ahead and start throwing money everywhere. You know, I started with a budget. I didn't have the money at the time. So I had to be very calculated. I put a business plan together. I put a, a very detailed uh, strategy for the next 12 months to possibly 36 months. I open up any business or any concept you're trying to put together. Okay, okay. You heard that guy's business plan. I'll post a couple of links to uh, business plan websites where you can get it made for free. So be sure to check that out in uh, the blog below. So I have to ask, Lee, what is your favorite supercar? I mean, I know you guys have a whole fleet. What is your number one favorite? Uh, that's a tough question, man. It's like asking me what's your favorite child. <laughs> oh, uh, depends what day of the week it is. <laughs> depends what outfit I'm wearing. No, no, but, but all serious uh, jokes, I love the G-Wagon. That's my favorite vehicle. So guys, you gotta check this out. Um, you gotta meet the MPH Club mascot. His name is Blue. He's in all their content, all the online content. Look at this guy. <laughs> He's everywhere. He's a little mascot. <laughs> Thank you again for watching the Digital Block. Thank you for checking out Lirum Sustiel. Um, be sure to check out mphclub.com. Exotic car rentals, jet charters. These guys built this thing from the ground up. Be sure to check out their content. And also check out mco.network, the agency behind the build of MPH Club. John Saunders, signing out. Peace.